a non-conservative force is a force for which the work done in moving an object between two points depends on the path taken. So there are two important things to consider in this definition. The first one is the dependency on the path taken. We can demonstrate that with a common example of a non-conservative force where an object is being pushed across a surface that has friction and we can say that the work done by the frictional force is equal to friction times the displacement of the object times the cosine of the angle between the two. Now we know that friction always acts parallel to the surface in the opposite direction to motion and we can see here that the object is moving and for argument's sake we'll say that this argument moves 50 meters. So we can then say that the work done by friction is equal to the frictional force of 300 newtons multiplied by the displacement of 50 meters multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the two which is 180 degrees since they are opposite to each other and what we can see here is that the total amount of work done by the frictional force is negative 15,000 joules. What this tells us is that friction removes 15,000 joules of energy from the system. Now the dependency on path taken tells us that if this object were to move further, say for example 70 meters, the work done by friction would then change because it's then friction once again times displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. Friction here is still 300, but because the displacement is greater, we can now see that there is more energy that is being lost because the further the path is, the more energy would be lost. So that is the first important thing to understand in a non-conservative force is that it depends on the path taken basically saying the longer the path the more work needs to be done against that force or for that force the second is the idea that it is non-conservative basically referring to the conservation of energy here where we know that a conservative force means that the energy is conserved or transformed into another form a non-conservative force is one where that energy is lost and cannot be recovered. So we know that friction often converts a certain amount of energy into heat and sound and various other forms and that energy cannot be regained. So the energy that is lost to friction cannot be regained in the same way as another common applied, another common non-conservative force being the applied force or being the tension force where once that force has been exerted and the energy has been transformed, that energy is lost and cannot be regained into its original form. So very important for non-conservative forces. Firstly, the fact that they depend on the path taken. The longer the path, the more energy is required or the more work is required. And they are non-conservative, meaning that that energy that is used in overcoming or in using that force is lost and not conserved.